The economy is one of the topics Republicans hope will energize voters as the state party convention got underway in Houston. The convention, while geared toward the party's base, can provide clues about the party's trajectory headed into midterm elections. Fox 4's Blake Hansen has that tonight. Blake. Yes, yeah, Steve, Republic, uh, recent polling shows Republican voters greatly energized by topics like the border, abortion, and the economy. What is still unclear, though, is how much of a role the Uvalde shooting will play in shifting the electorate headed into November. Governor Greg Abbott. Governor Greg Abbott hosting a welcome reception in Houston Thursday as the state's party convention gets underway. Our view of him partially obscured by the crowd as he unleashed on his opponent. Working together. We're going to beat the hell out of Beto. And we are going to keep Texas red up and down the entire ballot across the Lone Star State. It's as new polling suggests the race is tightening between him and Democratic opponent Beto O'Rourke. A Quinnipiac poll out this week shows Abbott still has a five point lead, but it is much smaller than Quinnipiac's December poll that showed the governor with a 15 point lead. The poll conducted in the wake of the Uvalde mass shooting. It also showed a slight majority of voters now believe stricter gun laws would decrease the number of mass shootings. The governor briefly addressed the topic. Community safety also includes school safety. And let me be clear, we will not tolerate what happened in New Valley, Texas, period. Governor Abbott has had an at times tenuous relationship with state party leaders. His remarks Thursday, separate from the main convention program, which he claimed was done to avoid financially burdening the party. On stage, party chair and former Irving state lawmaker Matt Rinaldi left the governor out when praising officials for going on the offensive. Republicans like Lieutenant Governor Patrick and Ron DeSantis in Florida have stood up and gone on offense against corporations like Disney who receive special favors from the government while taking harmful positions on social issues. And keeping on the offensive, Rinaldi called for the end of the bipartisan practice of naming Democrats to chair some House legislative committees. Going on offense means when we put our time and treasure into electing Republicans, we expect Republicans to lead our states. And not the party that wants to destroy everything we hold dear. Rinaldi is unopposed in seeking re-election as party chairman. The convention continues into the weekend.